I know you're a community of people like that, that you get things done, that you have a sense of how you're going to get to your goal, and, uh, and you do it. So congratulations to all of you. We're at the Dundas Manor to, uh, to uh, announce 30 new beds and 98 redeveloped beds for this wonderful home. Well, it's huge for the community because I think there, in, in rural areas like this, there's a real demand for long-term care and, and plus it's part of the community in terms of really being the heart of community. So if people are employed here, people see this as, as something that's very important for their, uh, their community well-being. And so people rally behind efforts like this. We have an aging population across Ontario and, and we know that certain areas, especially rural areas, often have higher uh, than average across Ontario in terms of their aging population. This is a resident centered approach to create capacity in our long-term care system that really has not been um, present for the last 15 years. We really have to create that capacity for an aging population. It will mean people will be able to get the care they need when they need it and their families will be able to uh, support that as well and you can see that here in communities like this. People rally up behind a home like this to make the new development happen. Well we'll get a big place, better ba bigger bathrooms, won't be anybody sitting in the hall to eat, which is what we have now. We're really crowded. We're really super excited about the new building and I just hope it comes quickly so I can be in it. Joan is wonderful and uh, you know she represents many like her as well. She did a great job with the presentation and being part of a representative group for residents in long-term care homes and so it's really important for us to hear from residents. We understand the patient satisfaction and the resident satisfaction here is very, very high and uh, that's wonderful to hear.